Please stop giving up hope. This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How are you all doing? I am okay. <laughs> doing okay. I'm trying to um, speak on something. I don't want people to give up hope because of what has happened in the past. Um, I listen to a lot of YouTube and I read a lot of comments and it's kind of sad. It's sad what I see. And I saw something yesterday or today. I don't even remember now. But basically, um, some women, they were saying, like, there's no hope for a relationship. Like, you know, like, it don't even pay to date men because there's no hope. Um, man, that's messed up to hear. That's messed up to hear. You know, we got to decide. We got to decide, are we gonna or are we not gonna? Are we going to throw in the towel and give up or are we going to stay hopeful? And when you're on that fence, you know, you're like, man, I wish I could meet somebody, but there are no good men left. All men are this and all men are that. That is one of the most detrimental things you can do. I get it. Trust and believe. I get it. Um, I've been hurt before. Now, I'm just going to throw this out here. I haven't had a lot of experience with cheaters. That wasn't my narrative. So that just shows you all that some of the stuff you are saying is absolutely not true. Um, even some of my friends that broke up with Guys, it wasn't always cheating. It could be a, a, a bunch of stuff, you know. Sometimes the guy didn't want to work or the guy had a substance abuse problem. Or in my case, the guy, you know, my ex-husband was abusive. So every story is different, but it doesn't mean that there are not any good people out here. We have to not give up hope. And if you're going to be that way, just sit on that and stay on it, like, don't even, I wouldn't even look at videos about, you know, starting new relationships and all of that. If I feel like there are no good men, why even think about that? It should just be off the table. So I guess you got to really decide, do you really believe that? Or are you just, is that your hurt speaking? Is that your pain speaking? Have you been so hurt that you don't even see the forest for the trees? And if that's the truth, you feel so hurt, you've been done so wrong, it's not okay. You know, it's not okay and it's not fair to you that that was done to you. But, however, could you have done something different? Now, this is where I, I see some women getting mad when, like, guys, they they have these YouTube channels. And basically, they're like, ladies, elevate your standards. Stop giving so much to guys so soon and then the ladies getting mad well why we gotta get scolded and why we gotta get that i i don't mind that kind of stuff being said to me because it's facts you know and the truth will set you free so maybe not get so defensive and pissed but take that with a grain of salt if, you, if it doesn't apply to you cool then i wouldn't even come in back on that but if it does what can you do to be better i have learned my time on this earth yes yes dating starting at the age probably 16 and now you all know my age over 50 um what i have learned is i just get greater later i just get better and better i just keep elevating so if um you know in my late 20s after my divorce 29 30 I was in a bitter, dark place and I was doing everything wrong and I just kept getting better. You know, by the mid 2000s, uh, 2006, 7, 8, I'm getting healthier and now I feel great. I feel amazing. I feel like I can get back out there, date again. I could spot BS. I, you know, I'm, I'm healthy enough to say, no, that's not for me or you know what? I'm cool by myself where I don't have to accept less than. So if that happened to you where you were done just wrong, 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 no place to go but up. 
you have to put a positive spin on negativity. You know, it's some people, they so resilient. They just like blow my mind. They can tell you like growing up, we did barely have food. My mom wasn't around. She wasn't the best. I don't know who my dad is. Literally, these people kick the stink out of life. Like, they'll have kids. They'll pour their all into their kids. They'll pour their all into their husband or wife. And they don't let the pain of the past define who they are. Actually, they take that pain and motivate them. It's like the Tyler Perry thing. You know, hey, I'm homeless. I've done a lot of stage plays. Um, This is my last hurrah. I'm going to go one more time. And then forget it. And that one more time ignited and Tyler Perry, Perry, as we know him, the rest is history. Owns his own studios, hires blacks, you know, who probably wouldn't even got a shot at acting. He gives them a chance. I don't care if you all don't like his stuff. I don't care if some of that stuff is bad acting. Overall, I love Tyler Perry and his story is freaking amazing. You know, so... Somebody like that, Oprah Winfrey, went through a lot of challenges, but it did not stop her from being Oprah Winfrey, the billionaire, the lady who put her name on her uh, production company, and the rest is history. And one thing I love about Oprah, you can get on her show, you know, um, now I think it's, oh God, the one on OWN, where she talked to celebrities. And she'll be blown away by a celebrity. She don't act like she too smart or she too good. She'll sit there and be in awe of them. She's constantly learning, a lifetime learner. And I admire that about her. And that's just one of many. Well, you got the power. You got the juice. Even if you've been hurt, even if a guy or a lady, you know, have done you really wrong, We have to remember how empowered that we truly are. That does not have to be your story. You have the power to change it at any given moment. And a lot of the power, it comes from the tongue. What you say. If you really think that all men are trash and all women are, are, you know, no good, you're going to get like a bunch of that. But if you change your thinking and try to see the good in people, you mean tell me you can't find one good person? Then I read this comment. I was like, oh, wow, here we go. Here we go. I'm envious of women that find good men. So I was like, oh, Jesus. Why you envious when it's more out there? Me, for instance, I live outside of Chicago. 2.7 million people in Chicago. No chance of Tammy finding nobody out of 2.7 million people. I haven't even counted the suburbs where I live. You got to always talk to yourself. Like when your mind goes black or dark or negative, talk to yourself. Is there any truth to that? Okay, so let's just pretend you're looking for a job. You've been looking for three months, like somebody told me. There are no jobs out there. What? 2023 people don't want to work this particular person is educated great skills young vibrant and you're going to sit up here and jump on that video and tell me there are no jobs out there listen you all every day monday through friday i'm getting emails about a job for purchasing i have done purchasing in years they still emailing me about purchasing I'm a social worker. They constantly emailing me about social work. I don't even need a job. Don't tell me there are no jobs out there. That's a, that's a, what they say. What is it? Ball face lie. It's a ball face lie and a bold face lie. It's both. Just keep the hope. I don't care if you don't see no glimmer of it. I don't care if it look like fade to black. Like everything is dark. It's no way I'm ever going to date. It's no way. If you got a smidget of hope, what is the saying? If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, and now I need you to look up a mustard seed because that seed is so little, you can barely see it. Just have a little faith that by a stroke of luck, by chance, you are going to meet somebody that's good. I had experiences with a good guy and a couple of good guys. 
and they are out here. I have friends that are great guys. I have men in my life as uncles and cousins that are beautiful men. They are out here. Stop it. You got to stop. And if you are so broken, so bitter, so hurt, and some of it's not your fault, y'all know where I'm going. WWW Psychology Today. Take your Blue Cross, your Cigna, your Humana, the money out your pocket, and hire you somebody. And you talk to that lady or that man and say, hey, I went through a really bad breakup. I am not in a good place. I want to heal past this mess. And you stake out, go find you a therapist. If you talk to somebody and they sound like they're not listening to you or they don't seem like they can help you, I want you to fire that therapist and go find you the right fit because you deserve to be happy and you owe it to yourself to have someone that loves you. And as Beyonce said, because a quitter never quit on himself. A quitter. A quitter? Oh, God, y'all. It's five something in the morning. A winner never quit on themselves. <laughs> a quitter does quit on themselves. A winner never quits on themselves. Ever, ever, ever. And you know she know because Miss Beyonce was in Dubai. It was, is it Dubai? Dubai. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And she was limping around, singing her heart out. And that lady, Virgos, we don't like you to see us in that kind of shape. And she still look good limping. She had some, foot, she had foot surgery. Poor little thing. But she ain't going to never quit on herself. Hardest working lady in the show business. Yes, she is. So I hope something I said today helps you. I do these videos because it breaks my heart, man. I want people to have what I have. I'm not saying I got it all. Ooh, I don't. I'm like, I be right where you all are sometimes. But one thing I'm not going to do, I'm not going to quit on myself. And ain't no way, ain't no way, like Chris Brown said in one of his songs, ain't no way that I'm going to sit up there and gloom and doom my future. I'm not going to gloom and doom me wanting to get remarried. I'm not going to gloom and doom all men because I made some bad choices before or because I had a breakup. It's okay sometimes. People are flawed. People have trauma. Hurt people hurt people. Somebody just said this, and this part is so true. If they grew up, the guy or the lady, broken, they grew up in dysfunctionalism, for them to do you bad is nothing because that's all they know is dysfunctionalism. It's, it's the norm for them. So this is where you got to take responsibility for yourself. You know how you want to be cheated. Cheated. Oh, God, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't sleep good last night, as you all probably could tell. <laughs> you know how you want to be treated. And somebody was like, oh, these comments were just breaking my heart. How do I know when a man should have access to me? Hello? Hello? <laughs> How do I know? Okay, ladies. A man should have access to you when he speaks to you <laughs> with respect. He takes you out here and, you know, and I'm not that one. Take me out every week. We're going to have lobster dinner, steak dinner, crab dinner. I'm not into all that stuff, Okay. You take me out to a very nice restaurant, okay? Next time, we can go somewhere else. Next time, if it's summertime, we can do a picnic in the park. We can go have some ice cream. We can sit at Starbucks and have a little drink. I don't care about all that. I just want to have quality time with a gentleman. Yes, he does. Open my door. My door, yep. The car door. Yes, he does. He, I even have guys pull out the chair. And it don't even have to be my love interest. It could be a freaking uncle that does this kind of stuff for me. Um, a man can have access to you when he treats you with care. And it's been a moment. Don't, as soon as you meet him, you don't throw him in your bedroom. So that's the kind of stuff they talked about. Take your time. Stop rushing things. You telling the guy, you want to come in? Want to come in my house? Why are you doing that? What? So slow it down and show yourself some self-love. Then you will know. When a guy should have access to you, you are smart. You are playing yourself. You are very, very, very smart. You know when a guy is not being right. Trust your intuition. God gave women 
a sharp intuition. You know when somebody playing you shady. Now don't go being, um, you know, paranoid. The last guy did this, so now you're going to judge this first, this next guy harshly, and he's he's being good. That's where some ladies go wrong too. You're using that past as your current. You got that's what www psychology today. Um, you can deal with your past first before you jump back out there. But don't do that. It's some great guys out here. Trust and believe. It's some great ladies out here. It's some bad guys out here. It's some bad ladies out here. But we're not worried about that because we're going to be smart enough to spot that anyway and focus on the good. I hope I'm helping you all. I hate to fuss, but I just hate to see people sell themselves short and not enjoying life because they think it's just all gloom and doom. And it's not. It's what we make of it. What I just, I got to steal what somebody just said. Happy, you want to be happy, you want to be healthy, and you want to be whole. And that's what you look for. A happy, healthy, whole man. Happy, healthy, whole woman. Happy, healthy, whole self. And when you do those, <laughs> the rest is history. You're going to be all good. All right, drop me some comments. Y'all got me fussing at 5 something in the morning. Oh, my God. Oh, it's 6 o'clock now. Oh, Lord. That means I got to hurry up, get ready for work. Bad dog. All right, you guys. Tammy C. Walker. I hope something I said really, really, really helped. I know it would be hard out here in these streets, but it don't have to be as bad as we make it. Stay positive. Stay hopeful. And if you are having, you know, trouble, trauma, you know what to do. I already told you what to do. All right. Have a good day now. God bless you all. Bye-bye.